I just want to speak about some random things. We have to understand that demons are not playing around with us. So when you choose to go out there and sin and disobey God, you are playing on dangerous territory. Anyways, I was dreaming and I was dreaming about an enemy. Now, this enemy have done some really mean things to me, but I still contact that person and I still do things for that person and I have forgiven that person. Anyways, I was dreaming about that person and someone else. And that enemy was acting in his or her usual way. So there was conflict, of course. So while I was waking up and listen here, I am not telling you this to vent. I am not telling you this to entertain you. I am telling you this to inform you and to encourage you. It goes right back to what I was saying. Demons are not playing around with us. It is so serious. The closer you get to God, the more real things become. The more your understanding is going to increase. Anyways, while I was waking up, so I was dreaming about my enemy, right? While I was waking up, while my eyes were opening up, the way that my enemy appeared in my dream, we have to know that demons can take the shape of pretty much anything. They can. So while I was waking up, I saw the demon taking the image of my enemy right by my feet. And this is not the only time. This may happen perhaps 10 or more times. So I saw this, my enemy, but I know that it is a demon. The same way my enemy appeared in my dream I saw that demon taking the image of my enemy by my feet while I was waking up. When you see stuff like that, you can't say that it was your imagination because it is right there. <laughs> it is right there. You can't say, oh, I am just seeing things. No, when you see something like that, you can't say that you were just seeing things because it is right there. It is something that you don't usually see. It is not that you are seeing things. It is real. So I saw it for about five seconds. Uh, about three to five seconds, somewhere around there. You see, demons can't get me to contemplate on what people do wrong to me. So what they do, they try to attack me in my dreams and stuff like that, trying to get me to contemplate on what happened to me, trying to bring up those bad feelings within myself. No. We can't keep falling for the same usual demonic tricks. It is time to grow up. The closer you get to God, the more apparent that demons are going to be to you. Like, hey, it is not about my human enemies. It is about these demons. Anyways, 
let me move to my next story. I believe I made a video about me being tested. Now, what I believe I forgot to tell you all, that day, I found out that my backlights and my signal to my car doesn't work anymore. <laughs> it don't work. <laughs> so my signals, my left signal and then my right signal is not working right. And my back lights are not working. Perhaps my front lights don't work either, but I don't know if my front lights do or don't work. I believe they do, but hey, let's say that they don't. And what I was seeing It was as though something is trying to pile more and more weight on me and to see my reaction toward it. So, for instance, let me place this 10 pounds on Kevin to see what is going to happen to him. Okay, he didn't really seem like it phased him, so let me add 10 more pounds then 10 more pounds, then 20 pounds, so on and so on. So when I learned that my lights were not working, I was like, hey, I am not going to worry about it. Let me just keep my mind on God and focus on him and not worry about that other stuff that is happening to me, about that dream, about the things that were happening to me on that one day and now my car lights. Let me not worry about it. Let me not stress out about those things. Because what was, what I saw, someone, either demons or whatever else, I could see that I was being, te it was so obvious because back to back to back, bad things don't happen to you like that, especially when you are following God. So when bad things happen to you like that, you are being tested. And I am telling you this not to vent, not to complain, not to entertain you but to encourage you because you may have to go through this as well. So when bad things happen to you, you are not going to feel discouraged or feel like you have to go back to sin again. Because if this is happening to me, a person who serves God, if you are trying to serve God or beginning to serve God, you better believe bad things are going to happen to you as well. So you can use me as an example, you know? So when bad things happen to you, it is a normal thing. Of course, pray about it and fight against the demons, but don't break down. And there are some other things that I am not talking about right now that is going on. Huge. But I choose not to talk about it right now. Because there is no point to it right now. It is personal. So, so when you see me, when I am telling you that you have to change this, you have to change that, Know that <laughs> I am living by that as well. Because if I was in sin, just like most people, I don't think I would be going through many of the things that I am going through now. But hey, all praises to God. So I pray that this makes sense. Stay encouraged. When problems come your way, 
This is your opportunity to show God how loyal you are to him. This is your time to show God that you are not going to quit no matter what he throws your way or demons throw your way. This is your time to show God how close you are to him or how far away you are to him. When you are tested, this is your opportunity. You want to increase in God, not decrease or be lukewarm. So I pray that this makes sense. This is your time. God bless.